So I wanted to summarize a little derivation that we did in class to make sure that you have the formulas at hand. So here is a projector that's launched into the air. And what we're saying is that it actually achieves some horizontal distance um, x and it reaches some maximum height y. And we want to know what those values are. So this is what they actually give us in the problem. They tell us that we have an initial speed v naught, and they give us an angle theta, and that's all they give us. Now we're solving things in terms of letters because what I want to do is I want to give you, say, an object flying at 5 meters per second at an angle of, say, 30 degrees. And what I'd want you to do is be able to plug that into a formula and tell me how high the object goes and how far it goes. So I'm going to use the numbers 5 meters per second and 30 degrees, but I'm not going to plug them in until the very end of the problem. And here's how we're going to do this. So I want general formulas for the maximum range and the maximum height. So I have x naught, and um, I know that y, x naught is going to be 0. I know that y naught is going to be 0. And actually, I want to be clear. Anything that I actually know the value of, I'm going to write that in red ink. And we're going to solve for things in terms of red ink. So y naught is 0. Um, I know that uh, my v naught in the x direction, well, that's going to be v naught cosine theta using trig. And in the y direction, uh, I'll actually get something similar, so v naught y. And here's some other things. I don't know what y is going to be. I don't know what x max is going to be. I don't know my hang time. So I've got a lot that I have to do here. So first, uh, let's go ahead and like we do in all our questions, let's get the hang time. So that's the time that it spends in the air. So I will use the formula v naught y, sorry, v y equals g t plus v naught y. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in some numbers. So at the very top of the trajectory here, I know that v y is zero. And that equals negative g. And of course, I should I should be more clear. So zero equals. Um, you know what? I want to make sure I have my ink colors right. So 0 equals g, because that's a known, it's 9.8, times t, which is my unknown, plus v naught y, which I know is going to be v naught times the sine of theta. So what I end up getting is that t equals, and I'm going to write everything I'm using absolute values of v naught sine theta divided by g here. So I guess I, should, I could put negative g since it's a negative number, but the point is this is what t equals. Now this is half the time because that's the time going up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually double this time. So time total ends up being 2 v naught sine theta divided by g. So if I wanted to get the maximum x distance, that's going to be x equals v naught xt plus x naught. And that's going to end up being x equals v naught x, which is going to be v naught cosine theta times t, which is 2 v naught sine theta over g. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the stuff together, and I'm going to use a little bit of trig to simplify. So it actually turns out that when I do simplify this, um, I'm going to get x equals v naught squared sine of 2 theta divided by g using a little trig rule there. So this is the formula you want to use to get the, um, the range. Now, to get the maximum height that we achieve, um, I'm going to actually use the following formula. I'm going to use vy squared equals v naught y squared plus 2gy minus y naught. So when I plug in my numbers here, vy at the top is going to be 0 squared. I know that v naught y is going to be v naught squared sine squared theta plus 2g y minus 0. And so I can actually go ahead and get my maximum height. When I do that, my maximum height actually works out to being y equals v naught squared sine squared theta all over 2g. So these are the two formulas that we came up with in class. So for example, if I told you that I'm launched at a speed of 5 meters per second and 30 degrees, I could immediately tell you uh, that the maximum range I would achieve 
I could actually just plug in 5 and 30. I'll leave that as an exercise to you. And you could do the same thing to get the maximum height. So that's why these formulas are so powerful. And these would both be given to you on your exam.